so, so it started to kind of grow. There was this kind of grassroots longing for the show to come back that was, was coming to us. And uh, I went back and looked at the last episode of the original series in which you may recall Agent Cooper is trapped in this purgatorial red room. Um, his evil doppelganger has just escaped and gone out into the world while Cooper is kind of nailed in his chair and the spirit of Laura Palmer uh, suddenly appears beside him and says, I'll see you again in 25 years. <laughs> I'd like to take credit for knowing that I was going to leave when we wrote it, but obviously I didn't, but maybe I did at that moment. So I pointed this out to David and he went, holy jumping George. Um, I said, that's an actual quote. Uh, uh, so I said, there's our, there's our way in. We don't have to do a sequel, we don't have to do a reboot. We can pick up the story a quarter of a century later because all of us happen to be a quarter of a century older. And uh, he, w so this was at a lunch we had at the, we used to have lunch at this very famous old Hollywood eatery called Musso and Frank's <laughs> on Hollywood Boulevard. Um, and we came away from that lunch thinking, okay, let's, let's start digging. We, we talked for probably nine months before we wrote a word. Then it took a year to write the first two hours. We never told a single soul what we were up to. Um, and then we said, okay, that's, where, do we, where are we gonna take this? We're not gonna go back to broadcast television, not to the broadcast networks. The premium cable world is the home for this. We don't wanna do network uh, Netflix because we don't want people binging. You know, that would be irresponsible. <laughs> the, sh the show is better in measured doses um, and probably safer. I don't know. Um, so then we went, okay, so uh, it turned out that our video distributor was the parent company, uh, CBS of Paramount and happened to own CBS television and also Showtime. And it turned out that an old friend of mine was running Showtime and that the second in command at Showtime just happened to be the guy who was our original network representative at ABC on Twin Peaks the first time around. So it wasn't what I would call a hard sell. We came in, we met with them, we showed them the two hours. They said, okay, let's, let's do this. We said, it's gotta be top secret. We need to go write all the scripts. We're gonna do them all as one big movie. I, I'm just checking back to see if I'm violating any confidences <laughs> here. I don't think I am. And David's gonna direct them all, and we're gonna write them all, and we're gonna both produce them. And they said, great. Um, it took a little longer to make the deal. Uh, at one point, quite uh, publicly, David walked out for a while as a negotiating ploy, which turned out to be very effective. <laughs> um, and uh, so we rolled cameras on the new series last September 9th um, up in Washington. We re revisited all the old locations. We had all 99% of the old cast back. Um, including your father. Right? Including my father, uh, who played Doc Will Hayward on the original show. Oh. Tim Doctor. Um, and including my son Travis, who plays a small part. So, uh, look, if it wasn't for nepotism, there'd be no show business. <laughs>